In this story, we find out about the Kempo Hands from Professor Nick Serio. Now to Rhode Island for the story. Well, Kempo has a pretty long history. Its roots uh, go back to China. Uh, the, the, the word Kempo originally was, uh, was called Chuan Fa, Chuan Fa or Gun Fa, which means the law of the fist or the way of the fist. From China, uh, when it went into Okinawa, they changed the characters when they got through change, you know, changing the characters to the Okinawan uh, 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 calligraphy. Uh, it read Kenpo, Ken meaning law, Po meaning way or fist. So we now got the word Kenpo, which means law of the fist. Uh, uh, in Okinawa, it's spelled K-E-N-P-O. Uh, in, Jap in Japan, it's called K-E-M-P-O, Kenpo which means the same thing, law of the fist, or the fist way. Uh, doing the research that I have done in the past, I found out that uh, Chuan Fa, if you go really f back with it, it not only meant the law of the fist, but it meant Chinese boxing. It, it involved a lot of, as far as we know, circular type hand movements. It's been very difficult to get uh, I mean, to go too far back with it because uh, there was a lot of the history was lost. But we go back to uh, uh, Kosheru Kempo, which was uh, actually brought to Hawaii by uh, Dr. James Matosi. Uh, and from there it went from Hawaii into California, and, and here we are today with it. Uh, that's basically what, what Kempo, Kempo is all about. You have maybe four, maybe five major systems of Kempo today. Well, my uh, people who run my schools, they all have to train at least once a week here, at least once a week. Some of them train more. I go through the workout with my black belts. We, we still work on our basics. Uh, we do a lot of endurance training. We do a lot of training in uh, uh, proper methods of teaching. That, believe it or not, there's a lot of training that goes into proper teaching. Uh, because each person that comes into a school has to be taught on a different level. There's no such thing as teaching everybody on the same, on the same level. So uh, one of the main requirements of uh, any one of my black belts teaching the Nick Sears Kempo system has to train here at least once a week. But I can say honestly, most of them train at least twice a week here. And our training sessions go for about two to two and a half hours. Again, the one-on-one -on -one training for techniques relies a lot on basics, okay? Uh, we, we mainly work on balance, distance, uh, coordination, uh, transition, um, uh, where, the, you know, where does the power come from? In other words, we'll stand side by side, for instance, and we may do a drill that consists of a, uh, of a front punch followed up with a front kick, front kick for instance. We may do that technique for about 10-15 uh, minutes and we simply, uh, like I say, go side by side or sometimes we use a mirror image uh, and, and this is how we do it. The, the basics are very, very important. Without the basics, you, you can't get into advanced techniques. Well, my seminars that I do, I mainly keep the seminars within the Luxor's Campo system. Uh, I have in the past actually, but uh, lately I've gotten a lot of requests to do outside uh, seminars. What I mean by outside, for Taekwondo people, for Shotokan, for Jiu Jitsu people, uh, I've done it from all sorts. Uh, my seminars, I, I mainly teach at seminars with the, uh, the uh, coordinator of that seminar wishes. Uh, sometimes, well, I, most of the requests are for self defense, believe it or not, on hands. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's usually on Nick Sears Kempo hands is what they like to see. Uh, I do do a lot of jujitsu because our system does consist of a lot of jujitsu techniques. Uh, I teach also weapons such as the bow and the kama, tanfa. Uh, I teach traditional and non-traditional uh, weapon forms. Uh, my biggest seminar was in uh, Quebec City. Uh, about two, three months ago, I did a seminar which uh, we, we had a total amount of 576 participants there. So uh, uh, 
but I am open now for all types of seminars. Like I said, we kept it within the Kempo system, but we've gotten so many requests that I now do them pretty much all over. Any, any further information, uh, we can be reached at uh, Nick Sirius Kempo, 1904 Warwick Avenue, Warwick, Rhode Island, 02889. Telephone number, area code 401-738-9111. And I thank you.